This video may not be appropriate for children of 13 and under. Parental discretion is advised. Tired of missing out on figures or paying scalper prices at toy stores? Then go ahead and visit DJC Collectibles, my sponsor. You can get 10% on anything Transformers, accumulate points, and sometimes score an exclusive figure you thought you'd miss forever. Head over to DJC Collectibles and start saving today. Hi everyone, my name is Raziel K and I'm back with another video. And today, blockies. Um, I can't afford to collect all the blockies. It's just with the increased cost of living these days and gas price and everything, um, I'm sticking to mainline. But I did want to get at least one and I picked a Sideswipe. So basically you can, I, I think it was on Timu uh, or maybe AliExpress. Yeah, it's AliExpress. Uh, you could get like a random one for $7.98 Canadian or a specific one for 11 So, or you could get like a box of nine for like 76 bucks or I, I don't know. So I got a specific one for 11 um, it, or at least that's, I think that's what I paid. It's been a while. Uh, but uh, yeah, so uh, this is Sideswipe in there, I hope. Uh, but the, the reason I got Sideswipe is I'm hoping they eventually do a Sunstreaker. Uh, so, you know, but if, if history repeats itself, I'll never see a, a Sunstreaker. But anyway, I'm, I'm hoping for one. So I just want to assemble this in front of the camera, uh, put it online and uh, just have some fun because everybody's been having a lot of fun playing with this. Uh, you know, Deluxe, Patriot Prime, got them. Uh, other people and it's really it's it, it, they look so good so I just wanted to at least have one and uh, yeah then you'll see uh, what uh, what the fuzz is all about so uh, before I do that I just want to remind everyone to check out my voice acting playlist the main feature of my channel and now let's roll the intro Okay, let's open the box, see what's inside. Uh, okay, I get two bags. And... Yeah, don't eat that stuff, of course. And then instructions. For sound wave. Okay, maybe... Oh, and... Sla oh, so this is all the instructions for all of them? Okay. Interesting. Kind of cool choice but I guess yeah it's cost-effective to um, only have one set of instructions okay cool so I guess where's sideswipe he's here so you have oh I guess okay you have the base and then after that you have the specific so this is the base and then you have the different uh, specific so I, I guess except slag would be different so okay all right, well, let's uh, put this here. Oh, you have parts. All right, so you have the Sideswipe card. There's a QR code, which... Okay, I'll scan and then I'll edit that in. I'll put whatever comes up, uh, uh, you know, in the video. All right, well, that looks good. So let's put it there. You have... Hasbro 2024, all right, reserved. Okay. So you have many parts. I don't want to lose anything. Let's remove this. Oh, there's a hood there. So I'm guessing these are the extra parts I'll specifically need for Sideswipe. Because these are on screws. So I'm guessing that's the base, I guess. Oh, there's a stand. Oh, I like that. I hope it's a stand. Looks like a stand. Probably is a stand. All right, so you have all the, okay, the Autobot insignia. You have parts, how to do the arms. Okay, well, let's uh, time lapse this, starting now.
Okay, we're out of the time lapse. You saw every mistake I've made, right? Uh, so I reversed. I didn't follow the instruction. I just kind of went intuitively. Like I followed the instruction to an extent, but I reversed the connection for here. So we had huge bicep and very small legs. Uh, but uh, yeah, so, but it's easy to unclip. Uh, the head was a little harder to unclip. You saw that I did. Um, just because um, I forgot to put the uh, eyes in. Um, so, yeah. And then the everything else was pretty smooth. Honestly, no complaint. And you can press really hard on these, uh, these parts. And they don't seem to break. The only thing I'm not sure is where to put the Autobot logos. Or, you know, I'm looking for the Decepticon logos here. Not seeing them. And I'm guessing you don't... Okay, so there's free accessories, logos, an extra... Yeah, an extra pin. And Energon cubes. I'm, a, I'm not seeing the Energon cubes. Uh, but you do have an extra hand if you want to switch the gun around. Extra open hand. Um... Can you put that? Nope. And then you can put the feet in like this so that he's going to stand. And is there a side to this? I don't think so. Well, there's a logo in front, so let's go with that. Can I do... Well, you can't really use the middle ones, but yeah. There you go. Uh... I guess you could have him hold it in his hand. You know, it does fit. So maybe that's like a lollipop, Autobot lollipop. There you go. But I don't see any holes where to put these in. So yeah. Looks really good though. Nice head sculpt. No problem there. Uh, the gun moves. You know, 360. Everything's on a ball joint. The head. Doesn't go up and down, uh, but does rotate. Uh, no attitude. You get your complete Ferris wheel. Uh, the arm articulation will move like this. You do have a rotation at the elbow. You have one, um, you have a 90 degree, or actually more than 90. The hand will rotate. Uh, if you move the arm plate or the gun, but the hand will rotate and it's easy to snap out if you want to switch hands. Uh, you have a full merry-go-round. Uh, you get your Van Dam, Or actually, sorry, you get your Johnny Cage. You get a kick forward. Kick back. Oh. Knee band, and then you have a tilt, rotate, well, no, okay, he doesn't, you can't rotate because of the, the legs, you can't, uh, it's gonna, oh, uh, well, no, I did it, there you go, you just have to be careful, and then you have your tilt and rocker, wow, fully articulated, this is really cool, I like it, I like it, I like the fact that there's a stand, and I'm guessing with those connections, you can probably put all the stands together, but well, that's cool. And then you get the extra parts. All right, let's uh, take that out. Let's put him on the stand. That's going to be really hard not to buy every other ones. Because, yeah, this is pretty cool. I'm hoping that they do a Sunstreaker eventually so that I can, uh, you know, put it on my Lambro shelf. Let's do some quick comparison. Let's raise this a little bit. Uh, let's go with, this is the Yolo Park 10 centimeter uh, whatever series that they have. This is Grimlock, uh, which I also got recently. Uh, scales well, you know, but this is super light and this is, actually this is lighter. But this is, you know, there's like three articulation, two, uh, one, knee, thigh, arms, and head. You know, well, I guess you can count tails and everything. So, but check out my review. Uh, this is my only uh, 10 centimeter Yolo Park. This is my only blockies. 
And let's compare with other minifigures. This is the Jada Toys light up action, which you can see a little bit. Uh, this is very heavy, not articulated except uh, arms, well, shoulder and head. Uh, but uh, I like those guys. I wish they had done more. They only did this one in Bumblebee uh, so far. And let's finish with the Iron Factory Samurai series Sideswipe. Uh, this is Enki, I believe. Uh, so yeah, uh, Blocky's a little bigger. So final look, it's gonna be really hard not to get all of these guys, but I have to. Uh, but I do really enjoy uh, the Blockies. It's uh, it's fun to assemble, it's not too complicated, you just have to follow the instruction. And if you make a mistake, as you saw I did, you can easily correct them. So. You know, no problem. So there you go, guys. I hope you've enjoyed this. If you did, please like, subscribe, hit the bell. Also, leave a comment. Love reading those. Keep coming back. I have more on the way. And remember, nothing in life gives you a right to be an asshole. Take care.